Hey, subscribe to the channel. This is King Me. Welcome back. This video right here is a prime example about what I talk about with Black Wall Street. Prime example. That we need to be putting our money together and, and, and you know, these social networks is not for, uh, you know, for all the shenanigans. It's for money, finances, get, get back together, building hospitals and getting ourselves, you know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> Oh boy, boy! People are just now waking up. You know that's gonna take. It's probably gonna take another twenty years or thirty years for people to. Oh, now we need to go on and make our business. Like, like, come on, man! We waking up. We need to go and do this now. We need to do this now, man. Listen to Papa Duck, man, man. Hey, I, I, AKA knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and by the way, that's a nice fitted hat. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel. This is King Meat. Let's get it. Black Wall Street. He. That business, we just empowered them. I think they will never walk in your store and spend their money back with you. You can go get your nails and feet done all you want, but they'll never support you. Go in there and say, My child selling candy for the school, which I'll support. No, 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 no. Because they understand they're not going to empower you. I'm just keeping it the book. You know what I'm saying? Let me get back to it. Um, it says only 6% of blacks' money goes back into their community. This is why Jews are at the top and blacks are at the bottom of every ladder when it comes to society. What I told y'all, you don't have a seat at the table because everybody at the table, you are putting money in their pockets by, by um, supporting them. Okay, now let's go in further. Instead of buying Louis Vuitton, expensive cars, shoes, houses, dresses, etc., blacks could industrialize Africa. Oh man, look at that. He just took off all y'all Christmas gifts and Valentine's Day gifts and all that. Instead of buying Louis Vuitton and Gucci and, and all the product, all the stuff that, you know, so we don't own. Which I don't buy none of that shit, man. I don't, you know, I used to back in the day. I'm in my 30s, late 30s. You, you, I mean, you just kind of, your brain, you know, you know, I might have one in there. But it's not my thing. I spend money on different things, you know, like stuff that's going to be, that matters. Man, but this is what they think about us, man. You know, it's what they think. Nothing is ever the black man's fault. His compulsive habits of killing his own, compulsive material consumptions, meaning we buy a bunch of shit, his inability, hold on, his inability to build businesses or preserve wealth are usually somebody else's fault. You see that shit? These, this is how these, these people, you know, um, see us. Um, and, and, and the thing about it is, this is why it's so imperative that we, we spend money with each other and we support each other. Because as you see, we're going to always be at the end of the totem pole. Because there's no support, bro. There's no support, man. And damn, but this shit got me in my feeling like a bitch, bro. And the interviewer said, um, so what can blacks do to liberate themselves? He said, blacks must take responsibility. Blacks must unite and fight corrupted leaders. Who got who basically run down their country? Um, that's, that's at the, that's at the end. I don't even know. I can't even see the rest of that. That what I just read, bro. 